Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited is showcasing its Tanush 155mm howitzer at the EDEX 2023 in Egypt from today, to attract potential customers in the Middle East and Africa. Maldives President has said, that after a series of constructive meetings and dialogues with the Indian government, an agreement has been reached to withdraw Indian military personnel from Maldives. Qatar's Ministry of Interior has granted another round of consular access to the eight detained ex-Indian naval officers. IIT Kanpur has showcased its sophisticated scalable UAV swarm drone system comprising 10 UAVs to the Indian Air Force. Cochin Shipyard Limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with Adani Group to construct eco-friendly tugs. French firm Thales has offered its Flytex new generation tactile flight deck to Hindustan Aeronautics, which is new generation avionics suite for military helicopters. The Indian Navy will deploy both its aircraft carriers on the eastern seaboard during Milan 2024 International Naval Exercise in February. Israeli company Smart Shooter has delivered its Smash X4 site to the Special Forces of the Indian Army's 15 Corps, that will improve the hit rate for a variety of stationary and mobile targets. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the contract for 26 Rafil Marine fighter jets is expected to be finalized in 2024, and deliveries of the first batch of aircraft will start in 2027, that will come equipped with Meteor missiles, Scalp cruise missiles, Exocet anti-ship missiles and laser-guided bombs. The Indian Navy will be extensively testing the Rafil Marine from the shore-based test facility in Goa, that will allow pilots to practice takeoffs, landings and other carrier-based operations before deploying for carrier-based operations. The first picture of the Israeli Rampage long-range at a ground precise strike weapon equipped on Indian Navy's MiG-29K aircraft have emerged on social media, that gives a capability to destroy high-value and well-protected ground-based targets at 250 km. The Indian Navy has integrated the Rampage into its fleet of 40 MiG-29K fighter jets, and Indian Air Force has also expressed interest in the Rampage, and plans to equip it on its upgraded MiG-29 new PG fighters. After undergoing modifications based on the Indian Army feedback, the upgraded ATAGS has returned to the Pokhran field firing range for fresh trials. Reports suggest that the upgraded ATAGS is hitting its targets with pinpoint accuracy, much to the satisfaction of the Indian Army. Once the trials are successfully concluded, the Army is expected to place orders for 307 ATAGS in early 2024. Two Chinese J-16 fighter jets coated with radar-absorbent materials were recently spotted with an unprecedented 10 air-to-air -air missiles configuration, that included one PL-17 missile with 400 km range, one PL-12 medium-range air-to-air missile with 100 km range, four PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles with 300 km range, 4 PL-10 short-range air-to-air missile with 20 km range, and this configuration is a clear indication that it will make it more difficult for adversaries to operate in Chinese airspace. Today's Top 3 Comments